Hello and welcome to Platinum Explosion's final episode for the PlayStation Productions discussion around The Last of Us Season 1. It's finished. It's 10 episodes. Oh, wait, no. It was nine episodes. That's right. It's imaginary <laughs> 10 episodes. Nine episodes and it all came to an end. And guess what? It can't be for nothing. My name is John Blight. Join me, Ashley Hobley. Hey, Dylan. Excited to be here and excited to continue the conversation of whether Joel did the right thing or not. So Love that that conversation is brought, brought to a new medium. <laughs> let me get this question uh, let me start let's get this out of the way first when um when when you think about the ending of the last of us game do you think that ellie believes him uh i don't think she 100 percent believes him yeah but she's she's at the point where okay i'm just gonna have to go along with this yeah, I was just wondering so where I'm just you fall have to on accept there. his answer. Yeah. All right. So what 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 did you think of this week's episode in a whole? That front, for the most part, once it reaches a certain point, just is it's it's the, it's, it's the, the video game. Like they just do this. I thought it was really good. It does have a very interesting open that answers a question that I feel has been left unanswered by the video games. Interestingly, um, Ashley Johnson. Yeah, um, yeah. I think they did it very well. Like, um, obviously, I think he had concerns about how they were going to fit everything into this final episode. They fit everything in all the important points. I feel like, um, it either you know, yeah, it it did definitely. Uh, again, it's going to be interesting to see people who haven't experienced the game how they react to this episode. Um, and there are a lot because apparently this broke the record again of yeah uh, now they're beating House of Dragon yeah higher than House of Dragon so I mean you know, look forward to multiple seasons of the last was coming soon as soon as they possibly can but uh, yeah I thought it was really good fit, satisfying ending to the season um, yeah I, I I thought maybe they would include like more like hints and towards uh, season two and that kind of stuff but. Uh, no, they just kind of stuck more to the game, which I guess in hindsight, not surprising. Mm. What about you? You were worried going in, so. Yeah, so I like the, I think that, well, I I like the Ashley Johnson thing. I think it's a, a good start to the, the episode, like makes for an intense opening, the whole like birth scene and, you know, yep. and, like killing a fucking, finding off a clicker at the same time and everything else. Um. I felt like it was almost unnecessary, like, to answer that question, though. I'm not sure. Like, I, I never needed to know. I don't really. I don't think knowing how she's immune does anything for the, for the show or the games, really. So <clears throat> it's, it's it's a good scene, but it just, I'm like, I didn't need it, you know. I, I mean, didn't need it. the most important thing I think <clears throat> that does is it shows why Ellie would be important to Marlene and why she, the difficult she she's making a difficult decision as well as Joel is. Yeah. But then you also well, no, she, she says that thing in the game. She's like, this is, she says on you or what? like they hint at stuff, but they never. Yeah. They hint at stuff this time. What well, you know, it's a classic case of show. Don't tell. You know? Yeah. So, yes. Um, I thought that I, I think the episode's okay. I actually think it's probably the worst episode of the season. Though. Um, mainly because, they, at least for me, and again, this is the whole, I can't, like, and there'd be no reason not to, like, as someone who's played the game, I'm not going to pretend I haven't played the game and, like, mm. <laughs> fucking mind wipe myself so it doesn't affect how I view, like, anything that you watch in the real world will affect how you view any sort of art differently, right? So, the the main thing with the finish here is I don't think it gets even close to the same feeling that the the game gets uh in fact even at the start of the episode where they're walking around and joel is a lot more playful and open with ellie it feels like that's the start like uh, after everything after everything they go through in the winter section but we only get that little bit before they knock the fuck out and separate and stuff compared to the game where there's a lot longer time for their mm. whole relationship. And this is the this is the major difference is I it just it really feels like they didn't get enough time. Um and 
I is it they didn't get enough time, or they didn't get enough time in comparison to the video game that you played? Uh, both. I, I, I feel like even if I even if the video game didn't exist and I was watching this, I would still. I don't think I would fully. I'd still be like, uh, like I feel it. I'd be like, I, I feel it. I, I, I get that we're there, but not to the point that Joel does what he does. That's the the part where I'm. I don't feel like they had enough to get to that point. To to really, to really go. Well, Joel would fucking Joel's gonna go in one man army to to save this girl. That fool. He's gonna go. Not only is he gonna do that, but he's also gonna potentially cause the end of humanity. <laughs> like, let's think. Because here's the thing: you never know. We do, and that's part of the, that. What made the game, the first game, so cool? You never know if it was gonna work, but potentially mm. he. He he stops uh, uh, the one cure that they w- would have had, and like, and and, and, well, and now and, we know so- how to make the cure. <laughs> yeah, we need to get uh, yeah, clickers to bite some pregnant women. <laughs> See how that goes. <laughs> See how that goes. Who's gonna nominate for? The- yeah, let's <laughs> let's yeah, let's <laughs> put their hands up. A that terribly one. unethical process. You would imagine, but you know. And I feel like the other thing is, with the ending, remember, the Last of Us game ending at the time was so powerful because you didn't know or you had no idea if there was going to be more. Like, it was just a game. It's just, it, it exists within itself. So that ending of, okay, cut to credits music, you know, that look on... Ellie's face that I've always taken as she doesn't believe him, but she's choosing to lie to him much like she knows he's lying to her and she's choosing to be um, complicit. Really? She's choosing to be complicit rather than fight back and go, no, Joel, you're full of shit. You fucking fuck you. Take me back. You know, everything like that. Like her face is, I know you're lying, but she's like, fuck it. I'm just going to play along. I'm I'm going to be complicit in this whole scenario. I'm going to lie to you. I'm I'm going to I'm just going to pretend, and that and and that's part of it. And what made that so powerful in the game is you. And there was all these discussions at the time around how you know people hated playing the the end of that game. Like yeah. hated the fact they had no agency over Joel's choice. They had no choice. Yeah. Yeah. And that uh, and that there was all these conversations around no. Um. You know Neil and um uh bruce uh at the time like talking about hey we only it was our game our story this is the, the way it was going we this weren't giving story, a player yeah. a choice there's no alternate ending there's no you don't get to choose it's a video game we're telling our story it's not a it's not a video game where you get to choose um so yeah it made it like all powerful but i feel like the uh, i really do feel like it's not going to be as powerful for most people and my parents watched it right so they straight away um uh, asked my dad Oh, uh, when season two, you know, there's no that there's no sitting on it, like holy shit, like there's no there's no it's it it, it affects is you. It, it, it doesn't work the same. They know season two is coming. They know season two coming, and everyone knows season two is coming. That's it. I feel like that's the double difference. So that 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 hard full stop. Okay, credits. What the fuck did I just experience? You don't get that. You get a, well, what next? When season two? And that's going to be everyone's response. So I feel like it's it's not that it's bad. It's just like it doesn't work anywhere near as well as the video game. Mm. And that's just the way it is. Like there's no, I don't, there's no way to fix it. It's not a like they could have done something, make it better. There was no way around it. Anyone playing the game is going to have the same thing. That's, that's the thing. Like if you go play the game now for the first time, even if the TV show didn't exist, it's the same thing. You know part two is there. You finish the game, you put the second disc in, you know, that, that emotional impact that for all of us who played the game in the, the original year or years, even before they, they announced part two, there was a long period where no one knew if a second game was even coming, you yeah. know? So you finish the game. You're like, is this it? Maybe they never said they're doing another one for ages. Mm. Neil, Neil would say that there isn't, there isn't another one. Like, yeah. <laughs> you know, it was just like, that's the story. And as far as, as far as anyone had, like, I remember I always thought, I'm like, there's no reason for a part two. What's the story? 
Oh, that's yep. the game. There's no, there's, there's no necessary reason. Now, of course, without getting into spoilers, looking at part two, they, fucking, <laughs> they do a fucking fantastic job at making a, a sequel. So everyone should be excited about season season two because part two is fucking a phen- phenomenal story. Um, but at the time, you were it was like there's no need for a sequel at all. So um, I also feel like the I didn't like the way they did the shooting the shootout scene. I didn't like, I didn't like the, what, no, let me put it this way. I like the way that they shoot it with this slow down music that's like, hey, this isn't a heroic one man army saving the day scene. This is a, this is not, this this, is you're not supposed to be scene, cheering, yeah. yeah, you're not supposed to be cheering him on here. I just wish it had built to that. Like, because it sort of goes straight to that. As soon as he picks up a gun and starts shooting, it's almost straight into the melancholy music and stuff. I, I just wish they'd actually got a little bit more of a um, this a couple did minute feel a little rushed. I'll admit. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. that's the that'd be my my thing. Like I, a little bit, you know, like have a scene like an actual shootout, like have it seem action based where he's like at the start, and then you sort of get into that melancholy feeling the music you drown it out it just seems to go straight to that it's yeah it, all in all i'd say that the episode does feel very like holy shit the finish line's here fucking room like <laughs> we, we're going a thousand miles now to get there it, <laughs> it's also interesting to contrast this with like the mandalorian <laughs> and pedro like him having like a heroic murdering a bunch of people to rescue the child or something like that yeah. moment you know Loves, he loves to just murder people and save children. Yeah. He loves yeah. to save children. Loves to save kids. Pedro <laughs> Pascal. What a legend. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> um Yeah, I don't know. What do you have any what do you think about the, the hospital the hospital scene? Because obviously in the I thought game, it was really well run. done. Obviously it was like it because we've had so little combat throughout this show, I feel like it was more impactful. Um, in contrast to, you know, because you really haven't seen Joel let loose at any point, really, other than the shootout that he has in Kansas City. Mm. Um, yeah. I mean, and then, yeah, just to see him brutally kind of take everybody out, um, even killing people who kind of have surrendered, I think. Um, it just feels it, montage if that makes sense, rather than... I guess, but do you want, you know... Do you want to? Do you want to like have a real time like three hours of him like don't no probably I like sixty pref- minutes of like I just I wanted a I wanted maybe the first level of the the hospital to be a build up detention moment like full fuck if I was directing it what wanna wanna I wanna that first level and then you go into the montage with the music <laughs> yeah all right uh, <laughs> <laughs> but I think production design. I have to shout it out because fucking hell, that hospital, that hallway in the mm. pediatric room, spot on, almost a complete recreation, mm. and obviously that's going to be important uh, going forward. So yeah, um, yeah, crazy. So um, yeah, and it, yeah, I think it's interesting. I <laughs> I also listened back to the, the I listened to the podcast, uh, the Last of Us podcast with Neil Craig. Uh, Troy and Ashley had the guest on the final episode, um, and they <laughs> it, they changed things in the the obviously they they spared the nurses. She spared the nurses. Yeah, Laura Bailey is one of them, which is interesting because she vo- voiced the nurse in the original game. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, like it's interesting now, that they did actually I spare them. I don't actually think I think that's a player choice. Weirdly, is it? I think you can shoot them or not shoot them. Okay, they might be then. If you're a sick fuck, you know. I oh, no, I'm not. No, I mean, like, you know, you don't want any witnesses. You don't want anything yeah. come back to him. So you know, yeah. you don't want anybody to tell him, tell somebody that Joel was the one who killed everybody. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. That would be like really bad for like in the future. Like if somebody wanted to track you down for revenge or something like that. Hey, what do you think of the giraffe scene? <laughs> I thought it was really good. 
I don't know how Ellie saw the drafts before she when she started running away. In the shadows <laughs> of the glass windows. Well, that's what they imply in the game as well. Like, she spots them the head or something. I mean, it was hard to tell from, like, the angle. I did enjoy that they had, like, a climbing mechanic <laughs> from the game. They yeah, they got one on ladder sequence in. <laughs> yeah. Do you know? Make sure it was a yellow, yellow ladder as well so you could tell it was grabbable. It was there, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It was pretty good. That was really good, and yeah, I mean, it was cool. It was, to quote Ellie, so fucking cool. Yeah, real draft, real draft. Uh, yeah, very pretty. Hell of a view. Call back to the first episode or oh, second episode. So yeah, I, I thought it was well done. Uh, yeah, and they included it, which is the important thing. You know, it was one of the most. I was worried more. there for a second. I'm like, oh, they get the. They're about to get captured by the Fireflies, like as a he's making the jokes about blowing up the yeah, the road the and that kind of stuff. Road, like, yeah. They yeah. had to include the, the giraffe. They they skipped the bunny. Well, apparently the bunny got away. Is the thing. <laughs> oh yeah, the bunny should have. Yeah, they wrote themselves into a corner with that. Yeah. Oh, changing what's good about the game. I know, right? <laughs> Fucking. You all just want to see what? dead bunnies. Damn right. Uh, well, looking back at the season as a whole, then, so what would you, how do you feel about the. Well, okay, I, also, yeah. I love the scene where Joel talks about uh, wanting to, he, his attempted suicide. I think mm. that, again, a moment of him connecting with Ellie, um, you know, and also, again, uh, multiple points through this episode, like going, we can turn back. We don't need to do this. Uh, and like Ellie obviously wanting to finish this story. Can't be for uh, nothing. It can't be for nothing. And then, which makes what Joel does hurt even more, I guess. Yep. Um, Tess died, Sam died, Marlene died. Yeah. All for nothing. But is it, is it for nothing? They're together, you know? Mm. No, but yeah, I love the line, you know? So I guess time heals all wounds. Uh, it's not time that heals it. Mm. <laughs> He's like, oh, and, 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 yeah, nothing. <laughs> neither of them play it like overly emotional, or like well, they're, they're trying to both keep people. a stern, yeah. like a keep a straight face, you know. Even though, like, we at home are all crying, yeah. <laughs> and I, I do love the opening with Ashley. I think uh, such a poetic. You fucking uh, tell them, Ellie. Fucking tell them, Ellie. It's mm. so tough. Yeah, yeah. You're all baby too. <laughs> That was a good line. Yeah. So, what do you what do you think of the the whole season? If you'd look great, back at it all? really good. Very happy uh, with everything turned out. I think uh, obviously they made changes and that kind of stuff. So, I think people can be upset about whatever they want to be upset about. But I think they stayed true to what the game was and they told the story. And obviously, it's been a massive success. So, I can, don't think I don't think HBO. Well, Sony are going to be too upset about that. Um, I feel like there were so many Easter eggs and like tiny little references uh, to keep fans happy and that kind of stuff. So, um, yeah, and hope most importantly, it kills off the idea that video games can't be adapted. So, I mean, thank God. We well, we can only hope that that's what it did. Um, <coughs> yeah, I mean, it's hot. it's the. I mean, surely we can. It's easily to say that the most successful video game adaptation in any medium, like, it's not up for yeah. argument, is it? Like, that's the surely the the thing. I mean, Sonic Two, man, a lot. You just gotta wonder, like, is the bar the Resident raised? Evil franchise has made, like, <laughs> you know, it's very financially successful. I guess is the bar raised? Are people looking at this, going, "Holy fuck, we'd better make sure that God of War series is up to par." I like, mean, I think so. You know. That Twisted Metal series has got... <laughs> the Twisted Metal series is fucked. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. I want to know the backstory what if we for save a kid? <laughs> the, the clown and how how he got his mask. Oh, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Samoa Joe. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> uh, yeah, definitely, all in all, really fantastic series. Uh, I wonder 
It, it, I mean, it also has the potential it, come around Emmy season of breaking the. It'd be crazy, you know, in a world where people argue about like, oh, pop culture, like comic book stuff, yep. video game stuff will never win awards, like all this stuff. Like, is this suddenly going to be a Emmy nominated, Emmy award winning series based on? I think it'll be game? nominated. I don't know if it'll. Well, it'll be up for best drama series. I think probably if Succession stands sticks the landing, that'll probably win. So. Um, yeah. But maybe Bella, you know, maybe Bella. if they do, she nominates last week's episode. I think mm. you know, there's a possibility. Best lead actress. Mm. Even they get nominated in several categories. Oh yeah, I think her Pedro uh, will get nominated. I Cinematography, suspect. if that was a thing. Yeah, they'll probably get uh, probably best directing, best writing uh, mm. nominations, and I would assume Murray Bartlett and Nick Offerman would be best. Guest That'd actor, be best a, guest, yeah. But is it guest if they're in one episode, like an entire episode? Is it? Does it still count if they're the main? Yes, so. I don't know. It gets confusing because I think. It, but then they I could, think it's they a could contract be, thing. <laughs> I think it's a yeah. contract thing more than what the actual episode was. You know? Maybe they're nominated for best because it's like uh the people who go and uh, host SNL, their best yeah, guest comedy guests. actor. Yeah. So. Well, maybe they're just nominated as best actors, and uh, Melanie Lazinski's more of a best guest actor, right? I don't know. Like in terms of people in the show, what's a guest performance? Like if if someone's in the entire episode, is it a guest? <laughs> it's just, it's yeah. weird. Okay. It's, it's like if you're recurring, like multiple. If you're paid as a recurring as a. Re- series regular than you're mm. in the main cast if not yeah, a guest i'm pretty sure i don't have to i'd have to look into the emmy rules eligibility and that kind of stuff so yeah, but yeah. that would be my assumption off the top of my head but yeah uh fully expect last of us to be a strong awards contender this year production design oh yeah all the all the uh creative a bunch of the those creative them. categories probably yeah you know, makeup prosthetics that kind of stuff yeah yeah, yeah. stunts yeah all right, cool. Uh, well, that'll do it for <laughs> our wrap up of the 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 Last of Us series episode nine. Also, I'm not. I'm surprised they didn't stunt cast the the surgeon. I don't know. The mask never came off. Is all I'm gonna say. So, yeah, they'll just probably like the video again. They'll probably just recast. Yeah, you have no idea. <laughs> um, let's know what you thought of the season one on Discord or Twitter Explosion Network dot com slash Twitter Explosion Network dot com slash discord uh head on over and listen to the rest of our platinum explosion episodes explosion.com of course check it out and we'll be back doing more bonus playstation production episodes probably soon because i expect that twisted metal series to sort of get an announcement and just be like hey, it's out next month <laughs> eh, it's on stand yeah yeah <laughs> also that marlene scene in the car park brutal yeah mm. or even just him lying to her in the car and she's waking up that was verba- I'm pretty sure from that from a moment the the show is just verbatim from the game. Yeah. The way it cuts still just back re- and forwards, the yeah. It's still super effective, no matter medium, I guess. Also sucks for her because she's had to do that twice now. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> same actress. So. Probably hurt more this time. Yeah. yeah so I had to go for it twice. Sucks, man. Uh cool. Thank you for joining us and we'll see you next one. Goodbye.